Hey, this is Drew from Moon Audio, and welcome back to Tech Tips. Today, we're going to be talking about connector poles. Not the North Pole, not the South Pole, but the little, little black rings on each one of these connectors separate different poles of the connector. Uh, there are so many different options now. There are 3.5 millimeters in two pole, three pole, four pole. There are 2.5 millimeter in two pole, three pole, four pole. There's a 4.4 millimeter in a five pole. There are so many different poles. Why do we have all of these? Well, essentially there is no standardization in audio and that's why we are in business because you got to have 3 million different types of connectors to take care of all the headphone, headphones out there, electronics, etc. because no two are the same. So let's talk about the whys and what ifs and so forth. So this is a Silver Dragon headphone cable and this was made for an Astell and Current player. Now the Astell and Current players, when they first started, to utilize a balanced connector, they decide to go with the 2.5 millimeter connector as seen here. The tip is the left positive, the next ring is the uh, a left negative, then right positive, and then the base, or what we call the sleeve, so it goes tip, ring, ring, sleeve, the sleeve is the ground for the right channel. Now, problem, if this connector touches the metal base of a device, that last sleeve will ground to chassis and this can cause problems. So there is no true ground in this connector. Now, headphones don't have ground, so why are grounds important? Well, it's more important when connecting portable devices, but I'll get to that in a minute. So then why do we have three poles on this connector on the headphone side? Why not two? You're asking the wrong guy. Why headphone manufacturers decide to pick all these different connectors is beyond me. In a lot of cases, we can use this three pole as both a three pole and a two pole. We will tie the sleeve and the ring together to make it a ground and the tip will be positive. Now, to solve issues with the 2.5, and there have been several issues, several issues over the years with this 2.5. One, it's very tiny. This can be very flimsy. You put your portable player in your pocket, you bend the cable, you can break the connector. There's also that problem, like I said, about the sleeve, the last pole, shorting, to, shorting the channel to the chassis, which can, if that chassis is connected to the circuit somewhere, well, that's problematic. So then we have this cable here. This is a single headphone cable, single attachment headphone cable. This goes to the Hi-Fi Man HER10s. And this has a four pole on the headphone side. The reason for this is so that you can do balanced. For balance, you've got to have four poles, two for the right, two for the left. If it's only a three pole, then it's single-ended. And if it's single-ended on this side, you can only have single-ended on this side. You can't go from a, a single-ended headphone to a balanced amplifier because essentially the two grounds are tied together on the headphone uh, and, and they're going to short to ground at the amplifier, shorting the two channels out and causing problems. So. Sony came along and they created what they're calling the, well, it's a, a, four, a five pole, 4.4 millimeter TRRRRS. <laughs> that is one tip. We got three rings. I think I said one too many R's and then a sleeve. Sleeve typically in the audio community is always supposed to be used for grounding. So now we have a true ground. We don't care about grounding on the headphone side because it doesn't need to be earth ground. You're using positive and negative signals for the left and right channel to drive them just like you would with a speaker. But where this becomes important is, let's just say that this is a portable interconnect. And I've got a portable device that has a single-ended or a balanced output on the device end. And I'm gonna connect it to another device that is balanced on the bottom side. Well. If you use a portable amplifier that has no true earth ground, right? It's a virtual ground in this device. It's not connected to a wall socket. It's running off of batteries. But on the downside, the amplifier side, let's say, and this is earth and ground, it's a desktop amp. If you connect a non-earth portable device to a grounded device without tying the two grounds, there is a high potential for a grounding hum issue. This is part of the reason you will see in the past that with the 2.5 millimeter on the AKs, we did a dual cable connection option. We used a 2.5 four pole for the balanced audio output, and then we added a 3.5 millimeter to, to grab the ground from that 3.5 millimeter and tie it at the other end to a balanced connector that has a ground. This prevents from any humming happening between a portable DC powered device and an AC 
desktop device. So to recap, polls make a huge difference in terms of grounding scheme with electronics. Not so much with headphones, but with electronics, it's very important. And you can't go again from a single-ended connection to a balanced connection and not cause a problem of shorting to ground the balanced amplifier circuit or the input circuit. It all comes down to the way the circuit's designed. There are a few electronic companies that are using balanced connectors, but in a single-ended format only. Are you confused? So am I, so is everybody else. Make sure when ordering any of these types of cables, you contact us first and say, hey, I've got product A, I've got product B. What is the proper way to connect the two single-ended or balanced connections? Do I need a ground and so forth? It'll save a lot of trouble. That way, when you get the cable, all of a sudden you get this, hmm, and you're like, why do I have this hum? Ask the questions. On every one of our cable pages, we put a little link at the bottom that says list your device to ensure compatibility. We try to check on all of your products to make sure that they're compatible with each other. But I would always email us first to ask the questions. It'll solve so much headache so that you don't have to send back cables and you don't have to be frustrated because of all these different types of connectors and all the poles that can show up on these 3.5, 2.5s, and 4.4s, as well as quarter inches. I don't even want to get into that one. Anyway, hopefully that explained a little bit about what poles mean on connectors. I didn't get into the true specifics of tip ring sleeve and how it's used in all applications. Really just talking about it from a headphone and a portable interconnect standpoint of connecting a portable device and an AC home device. Hope that's helped you out. If you got any questions, leave them below. Make sure to give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. See you next week.